Qatar, a land of contrasts and surprises, miles of silent, stunning desert with dramatic, towering sand dunes, lying side by side with spectacular modern architecture and elegant structures. A history and heritage would speak of proud people who in a relatively short span of time have managed to successfully propel the small peninsula onto an increasingly competitive world stage. Credit for this unprecedented industrial expansion goes to the timely, prudent policies of an enlightened visionary leadership and a vibrant energy industry led by Qatar Petroleum, which has championed the development of Qatar's energy resources. Qatar Petroleum's considerable achievements have in no small measure put the country on a swift, steady track to continued prosperity and success for many years to come. The heart of Qatar's oil, gas and petrochemical profile is Ibn Said's industrial city, MIC. Located on the southern east coast of the country, about 40 kilometers from the capital, Doha. Here are clustered the industrial powerhouses of Qatar's economy. World-class plants producing a variety of downstream petroleum products, such as plastics, fertilizer, fuel additives and petrochemicals which are exported to every corner of the globe through the fully serviced port of Um Said, from which the first crude oil shipment was loaded and exported in 1949. Since then, Um Said's port has grown from a simple crude loading terminal to one of the busiest ports in the region, handling products such as liquefied gas, chemicals, fertilizer, bulk, containers, metallurgical products and general cargo. Today, close to 3,000 vessels visit Umsaid's port annually. Umsaid port pilots are fully qualified master mariners that know the area in which they navigate intimately. With detailed knowledge of local waters, they assist in navigating all vessels safely until they are secured alongside one of the 29 berths at Umsaid port. The QP Central Office building in the town center provides office space for MIC staff, as well as QP's refinery, gas operations and support services. The QP Central Office building reflects the image and identity of QP with its distinct character. Its external layout harmoniously integrates with the environment of Im Said's town, an open concept opposite the community park. The Mahsaid Community Park is a purposely designed facility providing a large leisure area for Mahsaid's residents. The park attracts many visitors and their families who gather to enjoy the park's numerous playgrounds. Several social events are organized on the park by local residents themselves and the MIC is committed to maintaining the highest standards and providing leisure facilities to Mahsaid. MIC is home to more than 20 large industrial companies, QP subsidiaries and ancillary projects and ventures. Qatar Petroleum Refinery is a large facility refining crude oil and a variety of finished petroleum products such as liquefied petroleum gas, naphtha, gasolines, jet fuel, diesel and fuel oil all aimed at both the domestic and export markets. Mim Said saw the start of natural gas liquids production in the 1970s. Today, QP Gas Operations 4 plants produce propane, butane and NGL for export as well as feedstock for industries and fuel for water desalination and power plants. The plants have the capacity to produce 96,000 BD of butane, propane, natural gasoline, naphtha, condensate, ethane-rich gas and methane. Qatar's GAD reserves and current NGL output has made it the world's third largest producer in the field of gas. And as Qatar pushes ahead with mega-projects, 
its NGL production is set to keep pace with the rapid rate of development. The Qatar fertilizer company, Kafco, is made up of four fully integrated trains, each consisting of two units, one for the production of ammonia and the other for urea. Kafco's impressive record has made Qatar the largest single fertilizer producer in the Middle East. Qatar Petrochemical Company, Cabco, is a leading producer of low-density polyethylene, ethylene and sulfur. Exported to more than 4,000 clients in 75 world markets, the ethylene plant at Cabco has an annual production capacity of 720,000 mt, and due to its high level of purity, most of it is used as feedstock for the LDPE plants. Sulfur is a by-product generated by various production processes and is in high demand because of its purity and low moisture content. Moreover, Capco is one of the largest producers of LDPE in the Middle East, suitable for use in a variety of applications having to do with films, pipes, cables and wires. Qatar Chemical Company, QChem, a major producer of chemicals and plastics using the latest loop slurry technology to produce large amounts of ethylene, high-density polyethylene, one hexene and sulfur. QChem's multiple technology platforms, combined with innovative research and development, allows it to provide clients with a broad range of raisins from various application requirements. Qatar Fuel Additives Company, Kefak, is a producer of methanol and MTBE, methyl tertiary butyl ether, which is used as a gasoline additive to reduce pollution and replace the lead content in this crucial commodity. Qatar Vinyl Company, QVC, produces ethylene dichloride, vinyl chloride monomer and caustic soda. Most of these products are committed to long-term contracts to customers in India, Pakistan, Australia and Southeast Asia. Catafin was established in 2006 and is already on its way to making Qatar a world leader in the manufacture of linear low-density polyethylene. Qatar Steels was established in 1974 as the first integrated steel plant in the Arabian Gulf. It is widely recognized today as a leader in the steel industry, extending its pioneering commitment from an expansive mill site located in the heart of Um Said's industrial city. Qatar Aluminium Catalum, is a significant step forward in Qatar's drive towards diversification. The company is expected to contribute $1.5 billion to the economy, about 5.5% of the GDP, and ultimately create about 1,000 permanent jobs. MIC management has placed great emphasis on the last five years on the support and development of small and medium-sized industrial projects, which represent a major phase of industrial development and expansion in Saeed's industrial city. This includes a 14 square kilometer general industries area with phase one covering one square kilometer for the development of a support construction industry zone. This area will be dedicated to the construction materials industry and will house industries concerned with ready-mix, precast concrete, tiles and other building material products, in support of the national initiative requiring all such industries to be moved from the industrial area in Doha to Msaid. To date, land had been allocated for more than 85 projects, all of which are making major contributions in meeting the demands of the booming urban development in the country and the associated mega-infrastructure projects. Also under development within the general industries area are zones that house metallurgical, engineering, plastic, chemical and related industries, with more than 55 projects commissioned so far. Industries within these areas are downstream from the existing heavy industries and are intended to support existing and future heavy industrial plants. 
Qatar National Navigation and Transport Company was established in 1957 and has become an industry leader in shipping, transportation and associated services through its commitment to effective customer service, quality improvement and client satisfaction. Masaid's Power Company's $2.3 billion Masaid's Power Plant will meet one-third of the country's total electricity demand. Qatar Lubricants Company, Calco, is the first of its kind in the state of Qatar. The plant produces a comprehensive range of lubricants, such as advanced high-grade engine oils, and rigidly monitors the quality of its products and through all stages of processing. The Qatar Plastic Products Company, QPPC, is one of MIC's biggest downstream companies developing and manufacturing flexible packaging and shrink wrap material. From polyethylene raisins using a sophisticated computerized system which ensures excellent quality of printing. Hipworth is a leader in the design and manufacture of specially fabricated plastic pipes and fittings. Doha Cables is the first cable manufacturer in Qatar, moving this phase of industry into a new dimension and helping to contribute significantly to the economic development in the country. ReadyMix Qatar, which is associated with Lafarge, a worldwide group with operations in more than 70 countries and a world leader in building materials. Numerous asphalt plants dot this area as well and manufacture asphalt, macadam and other forms of coated road stone, collectively known as black top. The precast plants in this area are suppliers of ready-mix concrete in Qatar. The many plants, run by various companies, are spread across the country to meet its ever-growing demand for good quality precast concrete. The Sea Line Beach Resort, which opened in 1994, is a beautiful and luxurious leisure facility, complete with landscaped lawns and gardens. Swimming pools, sports, amenities and children's playgrounds contribute to making Sea Line Beach Resort one of Qatar's most popular hotels. Located just south of Insaid's industrial city, it has become a favorite with the city's employees, their families and friends. Masaid's Golf Club has been a focal point for golf enthusiasts for more than half a century and has been continuously upgraded into the excellent desert golf course it is today. The club hosts numerous tournaments and competitions during the year including the QP Challenge Trophy. MIC's Multiple Purpose Sports Complex is a large sporting venue for a host of sports including football, cricket, tennis and basketball. Spending several hours on the weekend is just a thing to relax, unwind and catch up with family and friends. If shopping is your form of relaxation, Msaid's industrial city has a wide range of shopping facilities to suit a myriad of tastes and preferences. These include a mall with a variety of outlets and restaurants, as well as six major banks, a large post office facility, police and fire stations. The MIC International School and Nursery School were opened in September 2009 and are part of the city's ambitious blueprint for its community development. This is the first of a number of schools being planned and will accommodate approximately 750 students in the main building with a further 200 seats in separate purpose-built nursery school. MIC has an excellent modernly equipped medical facility providing first-class health and medical care to the residents of the city. Its emergency clinic is fitted out with the latest state-of-the-art technology, equipment, ambulances and helipad to cater for trauma patients. As with any center of operations of this magnitude, security is of the highest priority 
an excellent security organization, monitors, controls and protects all access points, vital installations and the perimeter fence bordering the industrial city. Mobile patrols are always in place to respond quickly to any incidents or accidents and to conduct routine checks as and when required. Besides industrial cities, crucial contribution to Qatar's rapid development cannot be overstated. MIC is considered as the backbone of the country's industrial strength and the hub through which oil and gas flow, and from where a variety of high-quality downstream products are exported throughout the world. It is an environment of automation and human capital, working together not only to maintain Qatar's impressive growth rate, but also to ensure a brighter and more fulfilling future for and to demonstrate to coming generations what their ancestors managed to forge from an unforgiving landscape with the hope that they will be spurred on to do the same and more.